Hey friends, it's Christine. Welcome to today's declutter video. If you want to see more declutter inspiration, I will leave an entire playlist with over 20 other amazing YouTubers who are much better at organizing than I am down below in the description box for you. And you might be wondering if this week's topic is paper declutter. Why in the world am I in my kitchen? And that is an excellent question. That is an excellent question. And I would be happy to show you. Thankfully, the minimal mom invited me to the declutter and organize challenge for January. And I am like feeling really good about it. My master closet reorganization, I've actually continued since the last video. And I'm just like feeling great. Like I walk into my closet and instead of thinking, oh, I think, ah, it feels so good that I am inspired to continue. Paper clutter is definitely something I am not good at. Like, look, ooh. <laughs> yes, the front of my refrigerator is very empty and there's nothing here, but there's something around the corner. That's embarrassing. Before I show it to you, hit that thumbs up button for the algorithm. I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's go take a look. Oh, yep. I have a magnetic board on the side of my refrigerator right here. And while I love it because you don't see this, this is a disaster. I like it because important stuff goes here, like my property tax bill. That is important. I can't forget to pay my property tax bill. Like where does it live until I need to pay it in June? Right here. <laughs> where else would I put this adorable oh. picture of Ryan? It should go there. Am I right or am I right? Coupons for free ice creams at McDonald's. Important stuff goes here. The grocery list, all the phone numbers. But I haven't gone through this in like a year. So we're gonna take all of it down, put all of it on the table. We're gonna toss a bunch. And I think we're gonna find maybe a different organization method for some of it. And then at the end of this video, if you didn't see my last my last video where I showed you my like receipt binder for YouTube, um, I'll show you that at the end of this. Step one, let's get all this off. Stack it on the table, see what we're dealing with. It's empty. <laughs> Hallelujah. I left this dry erase marker because I think that's useful, but I have a, just a wet rag. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down because I don't remember the last time that I did that. Interestingly enough, it's dirtiest on the bottom where all the little kid fingerprints can go. The top actually wasn't that dirty. Mm. Weird. The first step is to just pick things up and decide where they're going. And I'm even gonna do things like magnets, like put all the magnets here. And this is a shopping list that I'd like to keep, but how many do I really need over there? I couldn't say. Well, maybe we'll make a magnet pile, right? It's all over there, all the magnets over there. Lists over here. I'm gonna do one for trash. And then I have, I have some video idea notes that I've jotted down. So that'll be like the work pile, right? So there's that. Oh, my Mickelson trail sticker. I can go put that on my car today. I didn't realize that's where that was. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, trash. Um, trash. Some more magnets. Trash. Trash. I do have some photos. Like I have this photo of Dave. I have this other photo of Dave. I don't know what he wants to do with these, but I could definitely put them in a photo album, right? And I have this like gift certificate with 88 cents on it that's been sitting there for four years. It's trash. Coupon expired, trash. This is like the kids school stuff. I don't even know what teacher this is. This is all trash. One of my kids teachers. Should go in the school binder. I do have a school binder, so let's go get that. Okay, if you have not instituted the school binder, I recommend it. So what I did is I have, whoop, that's not in there anymore, is each kid has a tab and then I have sheet protectors where I slide all of the papers they send home like this. So every year I can empty it out and then get it ready for the following year. And it'll have like registration information, teachers emails, school calendars, school maps, all that kind of stuff. I think this one's Andrews. 
So I'll flip through Andrews, find an empty one, and we're gonna slide this in here. So I have it for the school year, and then as soon as the school year is over, you just toss all of it. That way it gets off the fridge or like out wherever, and it's all contained in the binder. Um, I also put bell schedules and like school menu is on this side. So if my kids are ever like, oh, I need blah, blah, blah assignment, and they forgot their teacher's email or website, I'm like, go look in the school binder. It's one of the best things I did. I did it several years ago. So this is Haley's. Let's go to hers right here. So Ryan got a free Sunday at McDonald's. So I think I'm gonna stack up like the coupons that are still good right now. And what if I just took my kids to do that today as a treat and then we're done. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. That looks like another coupon. Here's another notepad, magnet. So this is a coupon for the gym that I teach spinning at. They have a 50% off supplements. So I'm gonna actually take that in like this week. I have a file cabinet and these are the keys for it. So I think we're just gonna stick that right back on the fridge because heaven forbid I lose a key like that, right? So here's something else. I have like a hotels.com gift card right here. It still has, it looks like $157 left on it. That is expired. Coupons, does it go with these coupons? Do I make a coupon binder? These are the questions. Oh, that was a video idea. Expired, 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 expired. This one has like $3 left on it, but whatever. Let's stick it over there. This bill has got to be paid like tomorrow. <laughs> Video ideas. Okay, question for you. This is still good. So this is a Sonic mailer and they have like Sonic stuff. So do I keep it and put it in the car? Like my stepmom would keep things like this in a gallon Ziploc bag, all the fast food coupons that would come in the mail and she would stick it in there in her car. So it was always in her car. I like that idea. So if you're out and you're like, oh, hey, let's get a Route 44 soft drink for 99 cents. Oh, convenient, I have the coupon in my car already. I like that idea. I can do this online, so I don't need this. And then, like I said, I have property taxes. That's due in June. Where does it go? <laughs> that I don't forget to pay it. And then, I think I paid this already. I paid this already, so that one's gone. Extra magnets. I'm doing so well. Okay, receipt. I don't even know what this was. Too long ago, can't remember. There's another coupon. That is done. This paper is I had booked flights for Southwest Airlines for our cruise that got canceled and they gave me a credit to use, but we're still not going anywhere. But I have to keep this paper because they refunded each person individually. Where does that go? <laughs> like, this is important. <laughs> mm, that's trash. Okay, I don't need the school binder anymore, so put that away. This is also for work, YouTube work. Oh, what's this? Free order of french fries. These are all expired. <laughs> oh man. That, I have a duplicate of, okay. Now everything is sorted, so time to put things back in a way that makes sense. Hold that thought. Like I said before, I have my red work binder, and I'm gonna go in here under my January tab, which is here, and then there are pockets here. So I keep all my receipts and brand deal contracts here, and then a couple of things over here that I don't know what to do with yet. So I have video ideas listed on all these papers here. I think we're gonna jump over to February because it's already like January's almost over. What? Work stuff. All my work stuff is contained in this binder. So I have a school binder and a work binder. Do gift cards and coupons go in the same spot? I need your help, tell me down below. The really important stuff, like my property taxes and this bill I have to pay to the school and the flight information, like I feel like this goes back over on the thing. I think it's okay to have stuff on your fridge or on the side of your fridge. It just needs to be really important. And that's what this is, so let's go put it there. So I'm in my car and I have 
the coupons in this bag right here in the side compartment. So if we're out and I'm like, oh, let's run and get a 99 cent dog from Sonic or let's go get this free ice cream cone. I have it right here, ready to go. And I put my Mickelson trail sticker on the back of my car. If you are kind of new and didn't know that my family did this 109 mile bike ride in South Dakota this summer, this last summer, summer of 2020, I will leave that full video down below. It was completely epic and amazing. South Dakota is beautiful. I'm excited to represent that now instead of having it just mixed in with my paper clutter. This is all I have left. This is it. Shopping list, couple of important coupons, those hotels.com gift cards, my must pay bills, like the property taxes, we don't wanna forget those. Everything else down here is empty, all the way to the floor. There's nothing on here. I have a couple of extra magnets here. I have my Texas magnet. If you guys are also from Texas, tell me your all time favorite bluebell flavor down below. A couple of my favorites are cookies and cream, butter pecan, and they had this limited edition one that was like a key lime cheesecake. Amazing. And then their seasonal king cake in Louisiana is pretty dang good as well. So this literally did not take me that long, like 30 minutes, maybe start to finish. And <laughs> look, like I'm so happy. So if you've been putting off the paper, Trust me, I know. Organizing paper makes you wanna rip your ears off. I get it, I'm the exact same way. I don't wanna do it, so I just avoid it, and then it turns into a nightmare. But if you just spend like 30 minutes working on it, having a couple of binders for organization, you're gonna feel so much better. Today, I just wanna thank Don so much for inviting me to this challenge, because every week as I do one of these projects, I'm feeling lighter, more in control of my life and my house because it's not chaos all around me. I mean, not that it was chaos, but by knowing exactly where important things are all of the time and only keeping the things that I really, really love, I'm just feeling really, I just feel good, you know what I mean? Thank you for joining me today. Next week's video is gonna be a doozy because we're gonna tackle my mechanical room, I think, and it's gonna be a disaster, so. If you don't wanna miss next week's video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I've heard YouTube like keeps kicking people off. I don't really know what that's about, but just make sure you're notified so you don't miss next week's complete disaster video. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and full playlist down below. Okay, bye-bye.